Hi mates, Julie here with Friday's episode of The Motors TV. First up today, let's get into some yada yada yada. Are you familiar with Wally Yachts? In my opinion, if there's any yacht builder whose every model number could stand to be 007, it's Wally. If you haven't already seen it, you should check out the sweet video they have up on YouTube of one of the Wally Power models. And the Monaco based boat builder has just announced that it has sold its second 100 foot or 30 meter sailing yacht in just two months, bringing the total number of sailing yachts ranging from 100 feet to 148 feet, that's 30 to 45 meters, currently under construction at the Wally Europe Yard in Fano, Italy, to four. The new Wally 100.3 is a fast cruising sloop with a large sail area of some 5,317 square feet and is developed from the lines of the recently launched Y3K model. Designed by German Freres, she also features a sleek and contemporary interior styled by the Wally team. This new vessel is also characterized by a powerful sail plan, large volume hull, and appendages derived from the latest America's Cup class vessels. As a result, the company claims she will be faster than Alexia, previously the fastest Wally in this class. Suitable for the most competitive regattas as well as round the world cruising, this truly is a high performance blue water yacht. Delivery is scheduled for June 2009. Next up, it's our power play segment, where today we have a special birthday to celebrate. If I say unsinkable, what do you think of? Why? Boston Whaler, of course. If I say 50 year anniversary, what do you think of? And no, it's not your great aunt Martha and her husband Ralph. You should again be thinking of Boston Whaler. That's right, the venerable boat builder is celebrating its 50th anniversary of constructing dependable, durable, and of course, unsinkable vessels for virtually every market niche. This most recognized name in boating launched into the international limelight when Life magazine, in its May 19, 1961 issue, featured photographs of engineer creator Dick Fisher sitting in a Boston Whaler as it was being sawed in half from below with a buck saw. That's right, cut a whaler in half and both halves float. You can then drive away the half with the engine. Subsequent photos depicted Fisher casually doing just that and thus the unsinkable legend was born. The chatter actually first began in 1958 when Fisher and naval designer C. Raymond Hunt first introduced the Boston Whaler at the New York Boat Show. Two features that set this boat apart from others one, it had an odd-shaped body that resembled a seagull in flight rather than the traditional V-shape found on most pleasure craft of that day. And two, its body was constructed using the revolutionary unibond construction process by which protective fiberglass skin and foam fused to create an extremely durable and buoyant vessel. This technique, still employed today and copied by many, results in excellent load carrying capacity and even more, if it becomes swamped full of water or drastically overloaded, it will not sink. Boston Whaler again shocked the industry by introducing the center console design, like this rare model, the Low Profile 19. And now, on July 29, 2007, Boston Whaler will introduce its 2008 model year recreational fishing and pleasure boats during its annual dealer meeting, appropriately hosted in Boston. The introduction of these boats marks the beginning of the brand's golden anniversary celebration. Festivities will include a series of events at Boston Whaler dealerships around the world. For more on the celebratory activities of the Unsinkable Legends Golden Anniversary, please visit www.whaler.com. Next up, whether you have a Wally yacht or a Boston Whaler, how do you keep it ship shape if you should get into an accident? We've got some advice for you. Whether it's a luxury yacht or a simple dinghy, the U.S. Coast Guard has clear guidelines about filing a boating accident report, even if there is only damage to your boat and no one was injured. A formal written accident report is required in the following situations. One, life is lost due to the accident. Two, someone is injured and requires medical treatment beyond first aid. Three, there is a complete loss of the vessel or damage to the vessel and property exceeding $2,000. Four, any person on board a vessel disappears under circumstances indicating death or injury. Time frames for filing boating accident reports are as follows. 48 hours of the occurrence or if a person dies within one day or 24 hours. 48 hours if a person is injured and medical treatment beyond first aid is required, and 10 days if there is only damage to the vessel and or property. Call the Coast Guard's customer information line at 1-800-336-5657 to obtain information about required forms and where to submit them. 
And finally, in today's Off the Hook segment, if you're as lucky as the fishermen we're about to show you, you might have to file an accident report sooner than you think. We'll go ahead and file this one under Fishing Tip of the Week, why don't we? If you think catching fish is difficult, these guys would tell you, just get a bright light. was off the hook for real, and off the reel for that matter. <laughs> and that about wraps it up for Friday's episode of The Boaters TV. Join us back here on Monday when we also are expecting a lot of cool video clips to show up from your Aquapalooza party celebrations. Send them in to julie at theboaters.com and we'll air some in a future episode. Until then, a safe and happy boating weekend to you all. Take care. This episode of The Boaters TV has been brought to you by the letter N. That's N for November and signifying no, as in no, and that's a negative.